the Electronic Program Guide, or EPG, uses a graph-like layout to display television data. The visualization is composed of a single node, which is the focus and is centered on the screen, and items that are related to it, which radiate from the center. A small textual description is rendered along the edges to provide clues about how items are related. Also, entity types, such as genre and person, are color-coded. We are currently looking at the egocentric home screen. In the center of the graph is a me node, which represents the user. In this case, all of the nodes shown radiating from the center are series the user has recorded. The entire interface has been designed such that a mouse and keyboard is not required. Users can navigate using two buttons on their remote control to cycle clockwise and counterclockwise through associated items. An action button is used to center on the selected object. This simple navigation model allows users to access all other nodes in the system. You will notice a fan-like layout is used when there are too many items to fit in a purely radial way. The clockwise-counterclockwise selection method is still employed. The inner ring is traversed first, then selection jumps to the outer ring. If an episode is the centered item, it can be started by pressing a play button. For users wishing to use a keyboard, both standalone or in conjunction with a remote control, we provide several features that can speed their navigation. First, it is possible to enter text on any screen, which rapidly limits the number of on-screen items, down to a single entity if desired. The arrow keys can be used to navigate as well. Secondly, if users know exactly what they want, a global search mechanism is provided. This allows users to immediately jump to a particular entity, perhaps an actor they like, or a series they are watching. An experimental ratings collection mechanism was created for the study. When a show finished, users had the option to rate the episode by various attributes, such as humor and action. This was done using discrete 1 to 5 scale, or not applicable if the show lacked that attribute. An overall rating of the show was also captured. This data was collected group-wide, and is shown at the bottom of the launcher interface in the form of a mosaic plot. The data shown here was collected during the study. Each show is represented by a single column. This column is segmented horizontally, each band representing a particular attribute of the show, for example, its humor or suspense. The height of the band corresponds to how strong the attribute was rated, for example, how fun it was. All attributes are shown with relative proportions to the other attributes. Also, they are color-coded for quick comparison between shows and to facilitate recognition. The thickness of the column represents the overall show rating. Better rated shows are more dominant. This visualization style has a nice property. The prominence of any single attribute is affected both by its relative dominance within its respective show, as well as how well rated its show is among all shows. In this way, area is analogous to quality. The larger the area, the higher the quality, and the more visually dominant the attribute is. In this ratings graph, the funniest show, as rated by the group, is Family Guy, followed closely behind by Seinfeld. Globe Trekkers has been rated as the most educational, and CSI Miami and Desperate Housewives rated as the most dramatic. In order to limit the visual complexity, only shows that are currently visible have their ratings displayed.